GDPR adoption, whether it applies to you or not, is oftentimes to your advantage because larger companies who you want to do business with, multinational companies, one of, their, one of the requirements is that you be GDPR compliant, whether you are required to be or not. Mm. And if you're not, you can argue that you're not required to be, but then there's this waiver process that they have to go through in order to get you to be a partner. Mm. So what I found is being GDPR compliant is actually a business enabler. So I think if you think about historically what happened is the place where we had big changes in financial regulation came when things went wrong. Okay, when you can clearly perceive what the problem is, that people can get a public consensus on it and fix it. If I go back historically to the uh, history of regulation, safety regulation of autos, which uh, stretches over 70 years, mm -hmm. the early safety regulation was easy. You moved you, your changes. You moved the gas tank from the back to the side because if you was in the back and you got hit in the back, you would explode. That was really clear. Okay. And then you do things like putting guardrails on highways and you keep going and you keep changing it. And, and so I think if you think of this as an incremental process, mm. that really it's about deciding what people care about and then acting effectively to sort of deal when, when there's consensus about there's a problem mm. and then you keep iterating.